from Obasanjo to Buhari list of four loans borrowed by borrowed under Nigerians for precedence. Uh oh. Okay, so now the Nigerian leader sought approval from the National Assembly to borrow. Oh my, can I even read this figure? So this is four trillion. Four trillion and fifty four billion four hundred and seventy six no four billion and fifty four million four hundred and seventy six thousand eight hundred and sixty three dollars a seven hundred and ten million euros and a grant of a hundred and twenty five million I mean look at these it, it looked the time it took me to pronounce these. Wow. Many Nigerians are against boring the, the boring spree of the current administration and or as it seeks to provide more infrastructure amid dwindling revenue. Revenue has been dwindling, it's not it's not anything not anything new at this point. Okay. Um Nigeria's public debt has been on the rise as of March 2021 Nigeria's total public debt had hit 33 trillion naira which is 87.24 billion dollars an accumulation of borrowings from successive governments the cable recently reported that despite incurring debt relief during the Olusegun Obasanjo administration successive governments have continued a borrowing spree the newspaper stated that the federations or the federal government component of the public debt surged to 658% to 26.9 trillion naira in the last 21 years. Citing data from Debt Management Office, the report stated that the federal government borrowing local and foreign debt climbed from 3.55 trillion in 1999 to 26.91 trillion at the end of March 2021 or oh, that is based that okay so that basically um reflects the 658 percent increase imagine since 1999 when Nigeria returned to democracy, Nigeria has had four presidents, Ulusha Gobasanjo, Umaru Yaradua, Gulag Jonathan, and Muhammadu Buhari. This report looks at the loans under the four administrations. Okay. Number one, ex-president Ulusha Gobasanjo. External debt reduction from 200 from 28.04 billion in 1999 to 2.1 or 2.11 billion in 2007 domestic debt so it's an increase uh from 798 billion to 2.17 trillion federal government debt reduction from 3.55 trillion in 1999 to 2.4 trillion in 2007 Federal government and local, federal government, local and foreign debt level thirty one point eight percent reduction, exchange rate ninety eight, naira or ninety eight point zero two, naira to, um. This one is, so the exchange rate was ninety eight naira, to one hundred sixteen naira, um, to a to a dollar. So it was that range for for his um for his time, I mean, from nine wow I mean again to be honest ninety eight naira one hundred sixteen is still not the best I mean the country can definitely improve from that but then thinking to where we are now yeah. Um, from here I do have to Jonathan okay that's from two thousand seven to eleven. Foreign debt increase. From two point one two point one one billion in twenty seven in two thousand seven uh to three point five billion 
in 2011. So there's a percentage increase of basically 155 percent. Um, so now the exchange rate from for nine for naira to dollar was 116.8 and naira to to 156 yeah um now for gulag jonathan foreign debt is now 6.45 billion naira wait no no not naira that's dollars my mistake for that um accumulated debt that's from you know from uh, ambassador's time to his time is now 6.17 trillion damn and <clears throat> It doesn't give, doesn't give the exchange rate. Okay, so at this point, exchange rate stood at one hundred ninety-seven naira to one dollar. Now this is for Jonathan's time. Now for President Buhari. Uh, external borrowings increased, uh, by twenty-one point two seven billion as of December twenty twenty. Uh, percentage increase was one hundred seventy-three point two percent. From 2015. This is crazy numbers. Like even a mathematician would be very confused with these kind of numbers. And these huge figures are not figures to represent how good the country has been. Or to reflect the country's productivity. No, it's basically reflecting how the country is dying basically in simple terms. That's basically what it's doing. It's literally reflecting how well... The country is dying like that's that's just yeah that's that's very sad that's very sad um basically saying that to be honest since when i since nigeria became a democracy there hasn't been any real growth and that is that is just a shame that is too too big of a shame um but it's where we find ourselves um that doesn't mean that we are allow it to continue but just saying that it's um yeah it's honestly where we find ourselves i mean what can you actually say to this what is the justification for this kind of government there isn't there really isn't but it i mean it's just shocking it really is shocking and to think that these people to be honest not to be disrespectful but we've got to be realistic with how life works they are literally reaching the end of their lives Meaning that it is the youth and the present generation that would have to pick this up. And unfortunately, with the way things work and the way power works, it is highly likely that these corrupt beings have trained their successors to, you know, to finish work, as Nigerians, uh, as Nigerians would say uh, about this. And again, it's, 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 uh, I don't know how. It's very sad, very much sad, very, very sad. And these people will continue to be rich, 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 accumulate so much wealth. I mean, generational wealth for their generations to come. Um, but we've, we've got to change that. We've really got to change that. Or else, you know, I guess everyone has to plan to leave the country. And then, fact is, not everyone can leave. So, basically, those that are not going to leave are going to suffer. And then, will be forced to fix the country. I mean, on how long it would take sad but seems like that's the reality of what's going on poor i think i don't forget to like and subscribe